going to read some words from Psalm 5, a prayer of David. Give ear to my words, O Lord. Consider my sighing. Listen to my cry for help, my King and my God, for to you I pray. In the morning, O Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning, I lay my request before you and wait in expectation. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you today to give you our heartfelt thanks that Jesus laid down his life for us so that we could become your children. We also want to thank you for men and women who have been prepared and willing to lay down their lives for others in war and in times of unusual circumstances as in the current pandemic. Lord, you know each one. We pray for those who have been bereaved because of war, crime or Covid. For those who have lost loved ones, health, limbs, employment or confidence. We ask that you will comfort them in their grief and the sadness of their loss. Lord, we pray today for all whose lives have been blighted by war, terror, persecution, pestilence and poverty. And for those who have fled from their homes right across the world and ask that they may know your help, that you would grant them relief, courage and a deep awareness of your love. We thank you for people who in time of war, imprisonment and terror have been able to maintain their faith and show love and courage to encourage others. Lord, we thank you for all members of the armed forces and ask for your protection on any who are in danger today, remembering their families and friends who pray for their safe return. We thank you for relief agencies providing support for those whose lives have been broken. Please give them the resources they need to supply meaningful aid. Keep us alert to opportunities we have to provide support through prayer through acts of kindness and by sharing what you have so generously given us. Father, we pray for world leaders that they would be honest peacemakers, leading their people to care responsibly for this beautiful world you've given us and for all people, rich and poor, healthy and wounded. We pray for all who bear the burden and privilege of leadership in every field, political, military and religious. We ask that you will give them gifts of wisdom and resolve in the search for reconciliation and peace. We pray for men and women of integrity and faith to take on the responsibility of leadership in order to bring peace protection and growth across the world. We also pray that you would bring us the leader of your choice to be vicar here at Holy Trinity and for spiritual gifts of discernment for those charged with the process of sifting applicants. O oh God of truth and justice, help us to lift our eyes above the torment of this broken world. As we honour the past, may we put our faith in your future, for you are the source of life and hope, now and forever. We thank you that you have already defeated Satan through our Lord Jesus Christ and won the victory on the cross so that we could live lives that honour you. In Jesus' name, we bring you our prayers. Amen. Amen.
Well, we've come to the end of our service. Thank you to all those that have been involved, for Basil, for sharing your, your testimony, for my father, for uh, speaking to us, uh, for our worship, and for Stuart and Jane in leading us in times of prayer. Um, don't forget, Sunday coffee starts in 15 minutes at 11.45, so do join us there. But I'm gonna finish now by asking God's blessing. So may the blessing of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit rest upon you now and forevermore. Amen. Have a wonderful rest of your day.